In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I have my Infuse Pro set up on my Apple TV so I can share my local library on my Mac directly onto my Apple TV. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Before we get started, I already have a video on why Infuse Pro is the ultimate must-have app on your Apple TV. So if you guys haven't checked that out yet, I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Getting started, you're going to need a few things before we can even begin. So the first thing that you're going to need is a Mac or a Windows computer. I'm personally using a Mac computer. Now this is my Hackintosh, which pretty much stays on all the time. So it works perfectly for me. So you want to make sure that you have a computer that you can have. It's most likely going to be a desktop that's going to be the best for this. You can use laptop but for me I just personally have my Hackintosh always turned on so if I need to access any of my media servers from anywhere in the world as long as my computer is connected to the internet I have access to it next you're gonna need a hard drive now you can get away without not using an external hard drive or a dedicated hard drive you can use the internal storage on your desktop or laptop but personally I like to have an external hard drive dedicated for all my media content so I have an external hard drive that's about 10 terabytes that can hold up anything that I really need to for all the movies and shows that I need to add into to my hard drive now hopping on your computer you're going to need a plex media server now i'm using plex because it's the easiest one and this is what i started off with and i just know everything about it now so i don't really need to use jellyfin or anything like that i personally prefer the plex media server this is not a paid subscription however if you do want to use the plex media app then you're going to have to get a subscription service for that to unlock more features but i'm just going to be using the plex media server to have it connected to my infuse app and that's what we're going to do right now so you want to go ahead and download the plex media server i'll leave a link to this in the description below it is available for mac and windows once you have that installed on your mac it's going to be an available icon in the status bar and you want to make sure that open at login is turned on just in case your computer reboots or you shut down and restart and you don't have to always open up the plex server it's automatically going to open at login once you have that set you want to go ahead and open up plex it's automatically going to open up in your safari browser and you can see right now i already have my plex library set up yours is not going to look like this right now but you want to make sure that you're going to be in this type of window because this is where you're going to be configuring where your files are going to be going so you can see right now i already have mine all organized but what you're going to want to do is in the top right hand corner click on your profile icon click on account settings and in the left bar you want to go down all the way till you see libraries in this section you're going to be connecting your sources to the plex server so right now you want to click on add library choose the type of library that you're looking for so most likely you're going to be starting off with something like movies so you want to go ahead and click that title and now you're going to browse for that media folder anywhere on your hard drive i specifically have an external hard drive titled movies so if i just click on that it's going to show me all of my options and in the subfolder i do have all my movies organized properly so i just want to go click on that folder and you want to add that into your plex server now you can add different kinds of folders so if you have like anime tv shows any kind of content that you really want to have a folder for you can have that added for your media folder in your libraries for the plex server now that everything is set up on our mac we can go back Back onto our Apple TV, you want to go into the settings, go into the network shares, and you want to add a media server. There's going to be different options, but we went through with Plex, so we're going to connect to Plex, and you just want to follow the URL on your phone or your computer, and you want to connect your Plex library to the Apple TV. Once you have this set up, your Plex server is now available on the Apple TV, so you can see the shares that you have, and you can add the favorite ones that you want to add it. So I currently have my folders favorited, so if I go back into Infuse app, I do have my favorite folders showing up so i can go into those folders and access any of the media that's within those folders and that's pretty much how you get the plex server to be connected to your apple tv this is all going to be streaming locally on your local network so whatever you have on your computer attached to the plex server you can stream directly onto your apple tv and not only does it work on your apple tv but it also works on your iphone your ipad so any of the apps that you have on your phone ipad or apple tv the plex media server is going to be the same setup and once you have that connected you can can watch pretty much anything from anywhere the only disclaimer is that your mac has to be running in order for you to be able to stream anything onto your apple tv your iphone or your ipad and that's about it for the setup of infuse on your apple tv if you have any questions or concerns let me know in the comment section below i'll try to reply to as much as i can and that's pretty much it for this video if you guys want to see more videos like this make sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe down below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace